Alright. Let's go see what the old man has to say about this. Where is he? That's the question. There he is. Kodlak. I was told you have something for me. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. You know, you might be one of the few people in Skyrim that can get around... That can get away with calling me youngling. I find that rather amusing. I hear you've been busy of late. I have. Ayala and I have been working to avenge Skjord's death. It was mostly her idea, but... I must admit I did spur her on a bit. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skjord. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? I have not, actually. Skewer said it was a blessing from Hersene, if I remember correctly, but... Forgive an old skull for not believing it. Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. That sounds about right. So what is the truth, then? Is it... Is it actually... I don't know. Is it the bloodlines thing? I know my father... Well, he was of the beast blood, so... I find it only appropriate that I'm on this path as well. Though I wasn't born with it. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. I see. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And so they became werewolves, the companions of your predecessor's time. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. This is why you don't trust witches, but... I mean... I'm tempted to say they should be hunted down because... That is just my... That's what I do, seems like. But given the... Given what we just... What you just said about perpetuating cycles of... Retribution, was it? Perhaps not. But it seems they did keep your word, their word, right? You are more powerful now. You being the Collective, not just you. The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord. And I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. I see. Frankly, I've never really... Never mind what I think. Is there a way to cure yourself? I would be happy to lend a hand if... You know... I know you're probably older than me, which is saying something, so... That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. Exactly. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out, 
Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Interesting. I... Well, I suppose... If we're here to break cycles, it shall be done. Good. Now move quickly. And don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lass. <laughs> I don't know about Talos, but thank you. Talos guide you as well. And... Take care of yourself, Godlack. When we get to be this age, it's... I don't know. I gave up for a long time. I gave up on... Well, living, I suppose. Revenge is what brought me back and now I've got it. I've had it. So, keep fighting. I'll help you cure yourself if that's what it'll take. And I'm not sure what I believe about this beast blood, but... I'll leave you now. Look at me. Off I go, rambling to the old people, eh? Older. Though not by much, I suspect. Heh, <laughs> I bet I look older than him just because of... You know... Salt and wind. It's late. I should probably sleep. It's a decent idea. One of these is mine, presumably. Is he going on again? Wasn't he going on like that when I came in? Oh. Must be getting to be winter. Season is changing. Ugh, it's cold. It's very cold. What can I do for you? Mm, nothing yet. Oh, that reminds me. I can fill up my water skin in the river. Oh. Oh, this is going to be quite a ride, isn't it? Oh well. Couldn't sleep last night. Excuse me. Thinking about... Sovereign Guard and the Allmaker and... Her scene. What is that? Speaking of strange things, I don't think I've ever seen that out there before. Someone just building shrines in the middle of nowhere now. Eh, who knows? Good grief. Kinda feel like I should put my coat on. And in fact, that's probably not the best, the worst idea. Where? Why am I carrying this? Oh, I'm sure someone gifted me that. There's my coat. Eesh, I haven't worn this since we crossed over from Falskar. Be right back, Rimnir. I want to go see what this is. Ouch. You're an old woman, Yarn Vida. You have to be careful. Although. Where'd it go? Am I losing my mind?
I think I'm losing my mind. It looked like some kind of shrine or something. Like a spriggan head with antlers attached to it or something. I swear it was just over here. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going mad. I think I need to stop thinking about her scene in afterlives and whatnot. I never was much one for studying the weird Daedric stuff. My ex, on the other hand... Never have I seen a man so obsessed. Hello, Grimnir, how are you? I've got an apple for you. Eh, uh, good boy. Okay. Now, you're not gonna be all jumpy today, are you? I mean, I'd forgive you if you were. It's kind of cold out, but... Let's go witch hunting! Phrase I thought I'd never say... Wonder why they're in such a hurry. I do wonder what I was seeing, though. Well, I'm no shaman. Who am I to be interpreting random things that I see? Someone needs to put out these fires. This is getting to be a bit ridiculous. Huh. What do you want to bet? Imperial battle mages. I don't know. That makes no sense. No, it doesn't. Alright, come on. Storm. I write these from the basement of your Vasker of all places. I hope this letter finds you and the rest of the village in good health. I must admit, having not heard back from you makes me somewhat nervous. Especially with all the talk about Sovereign Guard and spirits going on around me. Old friend, I've found myself a place as part of the Companions. Something that I realize goes counter to our ways. But I do this for a good reason. The people here face war, and I fight to protect them. I'm more thankful than ever that I take after my father. Perhaps his strength is what's letting me live, fight, and be strong. I hope to return to Solstheim someday, but not yet. It is lonely out here, Storm. And dangerous. Give my love to Freya, and I'll make her protect you. Yarn Vida. Hold on. Hold on one, one second. Don't think that orc is going to attack us, huh? You're being a very good boy, Grimlir. Thank you. This right here? That looks like what I saw. Except what I saw was made of wood, not... What exactly is going on? Looks bored. All right, we're in there. Let's go. Uh, 
We've got the long road ahead of us. Oh, good. Look at this. Careful, from there. Don't do it. Okay. And we're good. Hmm. Just follow the path. Presumably. Presumably there will be a cave around here somewhere. Right? One would assume? Alternatively, I'm very, very lost. That does tend to happen. Oop, careful here in there. Hmm. Smells like werewolves over here. Or regular wolves, I suppose. Okay, I feel like if I've hit bandit camp, I've gone too far. <sighs> yep. That man is a bit out of his league, I think, wandering around out here. Alright, this is a path, I think. Maybe? Maybe. One would think I'd be able to track witches by smell, but no. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Not really. I know roughly the area that I'm supposed to be in. The problem is... The area is covered in trees and I'm not very good at navigating in trees. Well. That's a sign. Okay, Ramir, you stay. Huh. I've got the antlers too, you don't scare me. No guards. So, are these witches forsworn or what? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Oh. This is going to be an interesting challenge. Okay. There's one. Oh, all right. I'm going to come back through after I've killed everything. And start cutting heads off. I think. 
Unless I can find pockets of peace like this. Alright. This is not the weapon to do that with. This'll do. Yuck. Hmm. Wish I could craft something out of that, but my hands are far too shaky at this point. Oh good. One headless chicken lady. Where did I put my halberd? There did I put my halberd. Okay. One headless chicken lady. I should probably be wearing my backpack for this. Otherwise, this is going to get very messy very fast. Skeever. Good luck. My hide is tougher than yours. And I'm wearing armor. Probably not a good idea to put that away, but here we are. God, luck confuses me. First he tells me- oh good. First he tells me not to go hunting down things for the sake of retribution, and here we are. There's spiders in here. Oh, nope. Really? What? All right then. I'd better keep that on hand just in case. What on earth is that thing? Pardon me. Taking it. Briar heart. I'm going to keep this. There. Situated. Delightful. There. A warning to the other Hagravens, I suppose. I didn't realize they were Hagravens, actually. Godlack didn't really... specify that. Which makes me wonder about his predecessor. Who thinks to make deals with Hagravens? That just seems foolish to me. Oh boy. Okay. I missed. Oh, that's not good. Stop that, you. Nope. <gasps> I need to trust my armor to take a few hits, I think. Good grief. On the other hand, these... these witches seem... I don't know if malnourished is the right word, but they seem a bit squishy in comparison to the ones I saw in the Reach. Or maybe I've just gotten stronger. up here. We got two. Oh, just the one. Oh boy, here we go. 
And why are they hanging taproot all over the place? I don't know. Oh! Okay, well, I'm glad she missed that fireball. Okay! Gods, the ale maker, stop that! I'll do. Whew, last one. I hope. Hopefully they're not gonna come spawning out of the woodwork. What? What is this? Ish. That was strange. What precisely was that? <laughs> garlic. Yeah, I'm not going to take garlic. What the heck? Ugh, oh, I can't see. Ah. Nope. I'm not going to take garlic from Hag Ravens. That just seems... An elven bow. It seems... Like bad luck. What is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. Well, knowing Hagravens, it's probably a shrine to her scene. Just considering. Okay. You know, I'm wishing I asked my father about his beast blood more when I was little. Or while well, he was still around, anyway. That probably would have been helpful. Unfortunately, I got to a certain age and he and the shaman were both pretty much convinced that I was, uh, safe. So. There's that. Hello, Frimnir. I probably smell like... well... <laughs> Hagraven heads. Alright, let's head back. It's gonna be a long road. Okay, let's not get lost again. That would be... unhelpful. <laughs>